Hey everyone, this is a, um, an account update and uh, just got a lot of messy stuff over here. Um, it's, uh, it's been a long time since I've had uh, any free time for that matter. I did a couple of videos about, uh, I don't know, a month ago. And um, I keep saying I'll do more blowgun videos, I'll do more blowgun videos. But um, the weather's been terrible where I live. It's been... Um, too windy or um, the visibility has been so bad and the air quality has just sucked and I don't think I'm going to uh, have a chance to do some videos for a while outside but I'm gonna do a um, little comparison on the cold steel uh, stun darts the old ones and the new ones I got a couple of the new ones here on hand but it's uh you're gonna ha just have to take my word for it on what I what I say these can do. Trust me, I have shot these before, and I'll upload a video with the uh, with proof, you know, because all you, you guys want proof out there. But uh, for all you guys who do want proof, but I have tested these. I didn't film it. I should have, but I didn't. I've shot these quite a bit, and uh, I really enjoy shooting them. This is a uh, the old generation which the old cold steel advertisements used to say put a screw in the tip to make it harder hit harder you know just uh, drill a screw up in there and you could shoot a little bit harder it adds a little bit more weight and a hard impact surface I got these and I'd shoot them through holes maybe about the size of a quarter in a cardboard boxes and it was like a little game I used to shoot these indoors a lot and they ricochet or miss and hit something that wouldn't do any damage to it well, these are the new and improved uh, versions. Not so much new, but very improved. Uh, they've got uh, four, I guess, knuckles or spikes or whatever you want to call them. There are two pieces snapped together. This orange part's just your regular cone material. This is um. I think Grivery or Zytel, it's um, one of their reinforced plastics. It's a little bit harder than normal, than your everyday plastic. This is one I shot into a cinder block brick. It wasn't a very hard shot, but you could see it um, broke the teeth a little bit. I have, uh, me and my friends have some that are, the nubs are completely ground off because they've been fired up. That fired him at his hard thing so many times. Both of these you can shoot through the um, shoot through the mouth of a soda can, just a you know as big as the soda can mouth is right there. You could uh, shoot these through. These would just merely land in it. These you would f see an indent of these punched into the back. These are very 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 um, strong compared to these ones. However, these ones will fly farther. But further is a relative term, you know, it'll, yeah, it'll shoot, they'll both shoot 30 feet, 40 feet. This one might get 15 or 10 more feet, but with enough practice, you could learn to arc these just as far. Um, I did see someone shoot a bird with one of these, hit it square in the chest, um, which is supposed to be the hardest place to shoot a bird and bring one down. But... It collapsed its chest cavity, and uh, that was it. It was done. Um, so these are pretty good for hunting. If that had been a headshot, it would have been uh, still just as dead, but it would have been a, just a sure, sure kill either way. Anyway, I really don't have a whole lot else to say. I do have one more little thing I'm going to uh, add here really quick, if you'll hold on one minute. Okay, this is what I wanted to add, is before these cold steel stun darts had come out, I'd been experimenting with things to use for, uh, use for stun darts, and I found that these uh, 16 millimeter marbles work perfectly. For those of you uh, in the U.S. like myself, this is a uh, 5 eighths inch marble and they fit very well through a um a five inch five eighths inch pipe 
this is what I had been using before and those of you who are uh, into blowguns as long as I have been will remember a guy called um, Blowgun Joe and he had a website for the longest time and uh, I have I have little experience with seeing people hunt with these or shoot stuff with these they will shoot through a um, closed cell phone pad that's an inch thick they'll shoot right through them fired out of a blowgun they'll dent cans they'll um, chip uh, cinder block walls but I haven't hunted with them but blowgun Joe he was an old website I'm not sure if you can find it anymore but he would he said that he, um, he had uh, killed a few pigeons with these and uh, for those of you who live in the UK or um, in uh, certain states in the US who have out that have outlawed blowguns where you buy yourself a piece of pipe you can go to the store and get yourself some marbles and you, you know you need to make sure they fit through your blowgun before you try shooting them through because every piece of pipe is a little bit different if it's not precision made and every marble is a little bit different but this is a an alternative and it's also fairly uh, harmless looking if you lose a couple of these if you lose one of these you know it's better you use lose one of these in a pointed dart but it's even better if you lose one of these cuz uh, oh look a marble you know it's harmless but just a little just some tips and tricks for you guys um i don't know if blogan joe is still out there uh yeah, or if he uh, if his website's been shut down for years but you know check his page out he's uh had a lot to say a lot of good things to say a lot of the stuff i've tried i tried because i read it on his channel first or his page i guess this was before youtube but anyways um thanks for watching more to come later